Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you join me. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I will be using a couple of decks um, for this new exciting reading and it's going to be entitled What Would Have Happened Had You Stayed With Them? Okay, so this is an ex, this is an ex-spouse, an ex-lover, someone that got away, someone that you almost had a relationship with or whoever it is. Um, it's going to be a reading using these two decks to see what could have happened between the both of you, okay? What the future could have held for you, what's the potential here, how things would have changed, would they have stayed the same? Um, so hopefully there's something here that is going to be helpful. I'll be using the Rider Waite deck um, and I'll be using this beautiful deck called Soul Cards. Um, beautiful packaging here. I'm going to link the um, link the deck uh, with, uh, to the website where you can purchase it if you're interested. Um, otherwise, we'll give the cards a good shuffle and see um, what's coming up. So uh, this can be for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Okay, so let's pull out four cards from this deck. What would have happened had you stayed together? What could have happened had you stayed together? Okay, we've got the world card so it's it's highly likely that there's a possibility that the opportunity may still stand this is a card of openness and possibilities coming back around to us um so i just sort of want to mention that because i always tie that in especially the world card okay i've got the two of ones okay four of ones and last card got the eight of pentacles okay a couple of eights which is nice eight is a number of abundance so i like that that's come up okay so i'm really drawn to the world card because it could be like you would have come around or you would have fulfilled something, okay? Something that you wanted to fulfill, whether it was marriage, moving in together, traveling, relocating for each other. It's highly likely that that would have been on the cards here for you and this person and you would have made that work. The Queen of Cups here is either falling, you would have fallen in love with each other or you would have fallen back in love with each other. Um, there may still be an attachment that exists between the both of you. That could be highly likely here. Um, the Page of Swords, it makes me think about something from the past, either a past issue or something that happened to you in the past or to them in the past would have um, would have continued to be an issue. Um, because you look back, the page, page of Swords is either looking back at something or regretting something. I really associate him with regret. Now, I don't know if many other tarot readers do, but I do because I feel like it's someone who can't move forward because they're still stuck in the past. Now, if you were having issues with this person because they were still attached to their ex or someone they knew, that could have continued to be a small problem. I say small because he's the page of swords. He doesn't pose a big issue, okay, because he's, he's a page. So it's someone, it's it's innocent, okay? I, I don't think it's someone that would have caused huge problems because of this. I don't think it would have caused major problems in your relationship. I think it would have been a minor issue, but it still would have existed or have continued, I should say, to have existed in this connection. Um, you'd still think about it or be paranoid. The Eight of Swords is a paranoid energy or an anxious energy. So it, it would either continue to cause mistrust or paranoia in the relationship. But I do believe it's something you could have worked through or something you could have eventually laid to rest. Why? Because you've got the Four of, uh, four of Wands here, um, which is a card of marriage, okay? Engagements, marriage. You would have um, married or remarried this person. Um, or celebrate something traditional. Um, but the Four of Wands can also be like victory. So you would have overcome that. Um, but also you would have committed Eight of Eight of Pentacles. This is this is the promise of success here. We also have the Two of Wands. Looking back, open-ended opportunities and the Two of Wands. Some of you will either have a second attempt with this person to create the future that I've sort of mentioned here. Um or it's telling me it's telling me that there would have been someone else in the picture. I think this is for you, um, air signs, uh, sorry, earth signs. I think you would have had, had you been with this person, someone from your 
deeper from your past would have come back in. And I feel like you would have had options in this relationship. The mistrust or the paranoia could have been on their end and they might have grown jealous. Why the King of King of Wands is jealousy. They might have grown jealous at either something you used to do in the past, the person you were, who you dated, who you used to be married to. I feel like there would have, had you continued this relationship, you would have still sustained the the possibility um, that this person would have continued to be jealous or envious of something about your past. They try to fight it, but I think it's it always be in the back of their mind. The King of Wands, the World card, there's something to do with travel here. You would have either, if it's not travel, then you, it, it's either for those that were close to moving in with this person, you would have moved in, okay? But it would have been to a potentially new place, a new neighborhood, a new property, a new city. Um, and you would have sort of wanted want to create that life together. You know, the Four of Wands shows a lot of celebration um, and there is high potential that marriage could have come from this um, a long-lasting union could have come from this but again i feel like had you stayed with them there's someone else that still would have interfered with the connection somehow on your end either someone else that wanted you maybe through work someone from your past someone you knew online there was someone else that was showing you interest that would have continued to somehow impact this connection with this person if that doesn't apply to you the two of ones could show that there isn't a second attempt at this connection. That things are, with the world card, open-ended where they are right now. You would have completed something here, so it makes me think you would have completed a cycle. Uh, together. The world card can also be acceptance or approval. So it makes me think if you had trouble like fitting in with this person's friends or getting the approval from their parents, like getting parental blessings for some of you, I feel with the world card, it could indicate that, that, that they would have sort of come around, okay? They would have been, um, they would have uh, been more open to your love or they would have come to see eventually how much you and this person are in love or how much you mean to each other or how determined you are to be together. And they would have sort of changed their opinion because I feel like the world is, is um, something to do with that. It could also be like um, being exclusive. Okay, so uh, it could indicate that had you stayed together, this person would have declared their love. Okay, they either would have said, I love you, um, they, they would have changed their relationship status. They'd make it exclusive or they would have made it known. Okay, to those that never got to that level, the cards could indicate that that's what that person would have been ready for. Because the Queen of Cups is like finding your happily ever after, finding your holy grail. And I think with, with that next to the world card, I think it is significant that this person feels um, or would have felt confident enough to be like, you know, I'm, I'm claiming this relationship. This person is mine. I don't care what anyone says. You know, maybe someone would have went here. This person could have went against their family or friends uh, to have you. So they would have done a lot. They would have sacrificed. I, I get the word sacrifice come to mind. Um, so they could potentially uh, would have sacrificed a lot um, to be with you or, or sacrificed a lot for this love. Eight of Pentacles also makes me think some of you could have went to business uh, with this person or they could have put you in some sort of platform and introduced you to a new world. Like starting an empire together or being a power couple. It's very likely that that would have come to fruition. Maybe, you know, you were talking about buying property together or starting a business together, an idea or doing something paired up. Um, it's very likely that that could have happened and that could have been very successful as well. You know, King of Wands, you'd always have that passion or that sort of chemistry, you know, the intimacy where you sort of hunger for each other. That would have continued because your attraction was clearly very, very strong. Um, but yeah, really interesting reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. It is a little bit nostalgic, so hopefully, you know, I've sort of left, left some thoughts running around in your mind. Um, but I really appreciate you joining me. 
uh, please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, thank you again and I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. Uh, take care and be well. Bye for now.